In this video, we're gonna show you how to set up your own custom floor plan dashboard for Home Assistant. To get to this step and to be able to follow along, you're gonna to wanna to have your day one add-ons and accessories running. When you're first getting started with Home Assistant, this can look like a pretty tricky task, but we've made it real easy. Check out the YouTube video we put together on the day one add-ons and accessories if you haven't gotten to this point yet. Subscribe to follow along in the future. In this video, we're gonna walk through the steps of getting your own custom floor plan dashboard set up like I have here at my house. This is the main dashboard I use in Home Assistant. To get the process started, we're gonna need a PNG type image file of the floor plan we wanna display on the dashboard. Absolute best case scenario, you have access to a digital image with the floor plan already, maybe from a brochure from the home builder or your apartment complex or Zillow, whatever the case. If you can grab that, that makes this a lot easier. Some other creative ideas include going into Google Maps where you can zoom in, take a screenshot and manipulate that in a different image editing software of your choice. It would be overkill to dive into it too much in this video here, but I found it really useful to go into the assessor's office for this and other projects to measure out and map out floor plans for things. So maybe your local county jurisdiction has an assessor's office similar. These are really, really powerful tools. You can see the accuracy of this measurement tool as I drag it around within inches on the satellite image view. Pretty cool stuff. Anyway, for this project, it's not critical that you get all your measurements exact, but if you want to lay it out in scale, this is the way you could do it. You can bring this aerial image screenshot into your favorite image editing software of choice as its own layer. And then from there, sketch the interior and exterior walls on top of that image before you hide that layer. You could have also skipped all this and just started with a clean slate if you kind of knew what the floor plan looked like and didn't really care if it was to scale. It's up to you. The ideal output resolution kind of depends on what you're going to be displaying it on. Here are some recommendations that I found pretty useful, but just be prepared to mess around with it to see what works best for your device. All right, we got our image of the floor plan. Let's create a new dashboard. Log into Home Assistant and choose Configuration. Scroll down to Lovelace Dashboards. Add new dashboard in the bottom right. Give it a name. Now with this blank canvas waiting for us, we can choose Add Card in the top right. Scroll down to the Picture Elements card. And you can see here a template of how this is all gonna come together. I know this isn't your floor plan, but go ahead and click Save and we'll just drop this onto the dashboard for a second. By default, it's gonna drop an individual card onto the dashboard. If you click this pencil here, we can click the Panel option and it'll make it full screen on the dashboard. Now using your computer in Samba Share, you're gonna to go to the network location for your Home Assistant Pi. We'll add a new folder in here and label it www. And in this folder, you can paste the image files you wanna use for your floor plans. Give your Home Assistant a restart. You'll get pretty used to this workflow if you haven't already, but you're gonna to navigate to that dashboard, go to the edit dashboard, and scroll down to the bottom of this and we'll choose the edit. Now all we gotta do is change the template file to navigate to our image file instead. And we'll actually kind of work backwards to get to the address. Go ahead and grab this syntax here. We can just paste this right here into the image location and have it proceed with local forward slash. It's not intuitive, but that's how it references that file folder www. Give it a save and you probably are gonna need to restart uh, again. All right, and if everything is going well, you should have your floor plan image displayed on your dashboard. Now, if you navigate to edit dashboard and down to edit, from here on out, we're gonna be more or less editing this text-based file just take note and pay attention to the formatting. The tabs, the spacing, that stuff all does matter. You can always give yourself a little extra room while you're working in here by hitting enter. Any of these extra empty lines will get deleted when you hit save anyway. To get a feel for how the positioning works with these icons, you can move some of these values around. You'll see it's all coordinate system based off an origin at the top left. Thank you. 
I would definitely recommend letting copy paste be your friend here. And until you can get the hang of it, I would just copy and paste the state badge here as an example icon in the template. The three big ones you're going to use over and over are the state badge, state icon, and state label values. For example, here I want to display the outdoor temperature value in the corner right. Here's how we would do that. And what's cool is you can edit and modify most of this text using CSS programming language. I know that gets even trickier yet, but it uh, gives you the flexibility to be able to do whatever you want with this kind of language. I found it super helpful to navigate to the Home Assistant website, go down to the Lovelace dashboards, and then the Picture Elements card. This gives you a ton of information on how you can manipulate all these icons, labels, and values. I also found it super helpful to check out other people's work. You can kind of browse their text files and kind of see how they put theirs together and that really helps give you some inspiration as to what can be done here. Depending on what you've integrated into your Home Assistant, you're going to have a bunch of entity IDs available to pull values from. You can get there from going to the configuration and entities. And you can scroll down this list. Important item of note if you wanted to add custom text in front of or on top of some of these labels or values, we're actually going to need to use that custom text element from the Home Assistant Community Store. Here's how we'll go about using that. You can start by simply copy and pasting like you would any other icon or label or badge. And we'll just change the type to custom text element like you see here. And simply follow along and format your text similar to what we show here. Another note, you can't really depend on this tiny little view you see in the top right. That's a preview, but what I would just do is save and check out what it looks like on the screen there. You'll find yourself saving, taking a look, and going back in often to make changes. And with that, we're done with setting up the basic dashboard for our custom floor plan. Don't forget to follow us on the socials, subscribe, like, all that, tell your friends, and let us know if you learned something.